This is the Dark Mouse Distortion pedal from Donna. Let's see how it sounds in the mix. Let's do it. Welcome back folks, my name's Shane. You're listening to the Dark Mouse Distortion Pedal from Donna. Let's take a look. Here's the pedal up close. The big control in the center is the distortion control. The further this way it is, the more you're gonna get. And same with the level control, the further this way it is, the more you're gonna get. Now the filter control works the opposite way. The more this way it is, the more top end you're actually gonna hear. So it works kind of in the opposite direction. Now we have a two-way toggle switch, classic and hyper. Classic is a pretty smooth sounding distortion with a little bit of a fuzz overtone maybe in there as well. In hyper mode, you're getting more bottoms and more tops as well as just, you know, like a bigger sound in my opinion. You flick this down, I'll show you that in the video with a little quick comparison between the two. In the down position, it definitely sounds bigger. A huge thanks to Donna for sending this out. I really appreciate it. I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end of the video. If you want to find out more about it, links will be in the description below. Let's get into it. Let's get into it today. I'm playing the Harley Benton CST 24T electric guitar. This is all stock into my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier on the clean channel. It's a really cool pedal platform amplifier. This is the clean tone on the bridge pickup. Pedal on with the toggle switch in the up position. Sounds huge already and that's with everything at 12 o'clock, which is a really great thing. I always like doing that 12 o'clock test. If it works like that, it's good to go. Let's crank up the drive a little bit. Here we go. Let's try that now with the volume control turned down. And back up. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now let's try with the gain back and see how it sounds. Pretty cool, it sounds great already, and it, it doesn't really matter where I've had the gain control so far, it sounds pretty cool. I've just turned the gain back to 12 o'clock. Let's take a look at the tone control, which I've turned down to about nine o'clock. This is actually adding more top end. This is neck pickup. Back to 12. Just 
the show at three o'clock. It's a very responsive tone control. I kind of like it at around 12 o'clock, somewhere around there, maybe even about 11. Before we check out Hyper Mode, I wanted to give you a quick comparison between them both. So this is with the gain at 12 o'clock and the toggle switch still in the up position just quickly. Toggle switch in the down position. I think the main difference between these two modes is you hear a little bit more bottom end and a little bit more top end with the toggle switch in the down position. And lastly, back up. Yeah, definitely, it really rounds the sound out, especially on the low end. And now with the gain cranked and the treble most of the way wide open, the more gain you add, the more tops you kind of need on your signal. This is neck pickup. used to that amount of gain. It's kind of fun. And now with the gain back and the treble also down a bit. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So what do I think of this? Now recently I also had a chance to review their Extreme Driver. I'll leave a link up in the cards. I actually like this better. It just feels great under the fingers. It's probably got more gain than a guy like me is used to, playing mostly blues and all that kind of stuff. But I tried to add a couple of different riffs into this video just to show you what, what it's actually capable of. In the intro clip, I really loved the tones I was getting, especially on the lead stuff. It sounded huge. This pedal has more than enough top end. It's an interesting thing that they've turned the filter sort of like the opposite way or the tone control. The further left it is, the more you're gonna get. So if you're not used to that, it might take a moment just to get used to it. But overall, these things are built great. I've said it before, Donna makes some of the best inexpensive effects pedals on the market. No questions about it, they're quite heavy. They're 220 grams, so you can do the conversion there, and which is kind of heavy for such a small pedal. I, I just really like these, I think they're, you know, if you're after something that's very familiar sounding, that's inexpensive, Donna makes some really great stuff. So a huge thanks to them for sending this out. Check out all the links in the description. My name's Shane. I'll catch you soon. See ya.